And there we go. There's the waves right there. We are ready to go. Oh, we're doing it the rough way. Oh, boy. I didn't realize this was a cliff. Alrighty, hello guys, welcome you faces back to another Stormworks video. Today we are checking out this thing right here, which is called the Miniature Railway. Uh, it was built by Buster and it is pretty cool looking. Uh, but before we get into this, if you guys want to voice your opinion on what should be put in the game next, what you guys should do is go to the link in the description, which is the Discord, the Stormworks Discord, and you can vote on what actually gets put into the game next. Which is actually a pretty cool way of doing it, so if you guys want to do that, I'll link it down below and you guys can check it out for yourselves. Uh, but for now, let's go ahead and check out this thing. Alright, so there are actually some instructions. It says here, the train spawns at the airbase. We're at the airbase, we found the train. Then it says, the starter button is on the both- oh wait, on both sides of the loco. Uh, so, there's a starter button on this side, somewhere. And there must be a starter button on this side somewhere also. Uh, throttle, reverse, brake, headlight. I mean, not gonna lie, I don't see a starter button. I don't see a starter button anywhere. Uh, <laughs> well, that's a bit confusing. Uh, I don't know where the starter- oh, there it is. I see, so both sides of the loco meaning this side, and presumably this side. Yes, alright, that makes sense. That makes sense. Anyway, uh, we're gonna have to reverse that locomotive up so that we can actually attach onto these guys. So if we say throttle... What the heck? Okay, right. Have we attached? We've attached to all of them. Alright, reverse. Good. Brake. Alright, nice. So it's actually running on these tracks right here. That's cool. I don't know whether it's got any wheels. That's weird if it doesn't have any wheels. Let's have a look at that, actually. Yeah, it has no wheels. It's actually got no wheels. That's weird. That That's very, very strange. <laughs> We've just got a locomotive running on, on these things. Oh, this is cool, though. Look at it go. That's really cool for a miniature railway. So, it goes from the airbase all the way over to what looks to be just the dock. I don't know whether we have to stop it or whatever. I'm not sure, but... We're just going to keep going. We got a headlight. What does it look like at night time? I don't know. Oh, that's okay. I like this. This is actually very, very... I like the look of this more than I like the look of the actual tracks for the real trains in this game. I think this looks way better. And to be fair, there's not much more to it. It's just... Yeah. Hot diggity dog. All right. I'm going to change it back to daytime so we can actually see what's going on. Because uh, we... Oh, wow. We got like a rickety old bridge. You know what would be really cool? If this bridge had some sort of, like, pivot in it so that it wobbled a bit? That would be cool. But, you know, a little bit more difficult than what we've got right now. Um, but anyway, if we can stop this in the right place... I'll turn the throttle off. I don't know what's actually pushing us forwards here. There might be some wheels or something, I'm not sure. Uh, but if we can push it to the end... Oh, so that all of these cars are here? Yes. We break. Okay. Fantastic, that's fine, I think. Uh, what is this? Starter and stop. So we can actually stop the engine if we want to. Uh, but what I, what I want to do is I want to move this away so that we can actually drive this to the other side. You know? So I'll do that. Hold on. If we disconnect this and we push it... That yeah! There we go. We can actually move it to the end of the track and then come back this way. I don't know how easy that is to do, but it might be easy. I don't know. All right, we're back in the seat. Let's go throttle up. Wait. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I turned it off. Turn the stop off, turn the starter on. Good. Get back inside, press the throttle button. Yes! Alright, this is it. This is how it works. That's fantastic. Oh, wow, we're going fast. We're going really fast. Alright, throttle up a bit more. There we go. Alright, slam it into reverse if we can. Yes. Go! Hopefully this goes the right way. Yeah, okay, so I see how they've done it. It makes sense. It does make sense. Oi! Oh. Uh-oh. Hold on. Throttle up again. Yes. So you can't go too fast when you do that, but that's fine. Turn the reverse off. Throttle it up forwards. We should attach onto those things. Hopefully not very quickly, though. Oh. Uh, yes. Oh, right. Okay, then we put reverse on. We jump out. We get in the other side, 
We turn the throttle on. Uh, turn the headlights on. Off we go. That's pretty cool. What a... That is very cool. I like this. This is nice. And then we're back on the rickety old bridge and we're just... We're just going across. This, for some reason, reminds me of Rolling Line. I don't know why. I mean, I guess it's just a train. Uh, and that makes sense. Um, but yeah. Look at it go. This is awesome. We just need one of these around the entire map now. Oh, that would be cool, actually. That would be very cool. We should have one of these go the entire way around this island. And then we should have one go all the way around the other island as well. Not that it was that easy to create this. Because I wouldn't imagine it was. But, um, yeah, that's actually pretty cool. So, because we've got this going, how about we, uh, we go ahead and get ourselves a car of some sort. And we'll try and drive around the island. Because that seems like a fun idea. Alright, so I don't actually have a car planned just yet, but we're gonna we're gonna finish off. We're gonna get back to the uh, back to the little platform there, and we're gonna stop there because why not, right? That makes sense. Um, also, just as a quick side note, a few of you guys were like, "I like the face cam," and a few of you guys were like, "I don't like the face cam." And the reasons for it seem to be that you guys were paying more attention to my face than the game, and that's just weird. No, that's not on me. <laughs> but, um, yeah, anyway, let's go get ourselves another vehicle. Alright, so this is what we're going to use. I haven't tried this thing out yet, and uh, I, I think it's going to be quite easy to drive, considering what it is. Uh, it's a Wimamp. That's what it's called right there. Wimamp. Yeah. Um, and it is a amphibious tank, basically. So uh, it can do a bunch of things, which is pretty cool. Um, it's also got a flippy ovary thing. Yeah, but you weren't expecting me to say that today. A flippery ovary thing. Hmm, that's what it's got. Anyway, door. Oh no, I do this every time. <laughs> I do this literally every time. Uh, I need to open the door. Oh, I can't get to the... Oh yeah, I can. Hold on. There we go. Open that door. Beautiful. Alright, get inside. Close the door. Nice. There we go. We actually got inside. So, inside of here, we've got a bed. There we go. We got a bed. We got doors. We've got high voltage, which is the emergency battery, uh, which is currently full. That makes sense. We got a big old door on the back. Oh, look at that. Wow. That's pretty cool. Go ahead and fold that back up. Uh, right here, we've got a door on this side as well. And we've also got a light and a sofa and a skylight too. Yeah, we could also get out the roof if we need to. Um, but that's okay. Right, so... If we move forwards, we can sit in the driver's seat. There's also a passenger seat, as you guys can see. Um, and if we do this... Is that it? That's it. You just do that, and then off we go. Easy. So it has cruise control. It's got lights, uh, like spotlights, extra ones on the top. It's also got flares, if you need to use flares. And it's also got a heater, in case you're in the Arctic, uh, for some reason. Uh, but what I want to see is something that it was not designed for. I want to see if it fits underneath the bridge for this model railway. I don't know whether it will, but we'll see. I think what we'll actually do here is we'll try and get underneath the bridge. Um, but then after that, we're going to go ahead and get rid of the model railway. Uh, because if you guys remember the last tank we tried, the T-34, um, it sped up quite a bit after the big thing was gone. And in this, circum in this situation, the miniature railway is the big thing. So, um, yeah, I kind of feel like this should be driving faster. But uh, at the same time, I don't really know. We're also in the seventh gear. That's crazy. Where's our speed, though? 31? Is that our speed? I don't know. I think so. Anyway, this is the bridge right here. All right, I'm going to go ahead and turn off cruise control. I don't think we'll fit under it. I don't think we do. No, but uh, that is nothing to do with this truck anyway, this tank. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to get rid of the railway and then we're going to check it out from there. I removed the miniature railway. It's still there. It, it's still there. I I don't understand. Anyway, we're going to have to just go a different direction, go a different way because, yeah, that's still there. I deleted the mission. We don't have the mission anymore and it's still there. That's weird. That's really weird. Unless it's spawned in as, like, an environment thing. But I don't think I turned that on. I'm confused. Anyway, uh, we're going to reverse backwards, yes. And then we're going to try uh, and drive it into the water. Because I want to see what it's like in the water. That'd be cool. Alright, so I decided we should try and go up a hill. Uh, and it is 
It is going up the hill, but it's obviously slowed down a bit. But, you know, it's not slowing down much more than this. So we lost... We lost what? Eight speeds? Because I don't know what this is in. It might be kilometers an hour? I'm not sure. Uh, but we lost eight speeds. <laughs> um, but that's okay. That is okay. I want to show you guys a few more of its features, though. So, in theory, if it falls over, it's got a way of fixing itself. Kind of. Um, I don't know whether it's got a way of fixing itself if it falls on its roof. I think it does, though. It actually does. Um, but no, that's fine. Also, press 3. Ah, it fires one flare at a time. That's what my ship needs. Kind of. Maybe. But anyway, what I'm going to do now, on purpose, is I'm going to try and roll this thing down the cliff. Um, that might break things. That's true. Uh, but at the same time, we're testing. We're testing things. And this is... Throwing things off cliffs is how you test things. Alright, here we go. Here we go. It's happening. Hey, roll. No way. There we go. Alright, so it flipped. It didn't actually appear to take any damage. That's a little strange. But anyway, let's say it's fallen off a cliff, for example, like this. Um, what you can then do is you press this button, you open up the door, and... Oh. Yeah, you open up the door and it flips you over. There's also one on the other side, of course, and there's also one on the back. So, um, yeah, that's that's a cool thing. I like that. But anyway, now that we're over, uh, we need to get to the water because that is our next experiment. If we can get out of here. I think we'll be able to go up here, right? Maybe? Yeah, we can just power, power through. All right, nice. Yep, keep going backwards. We need to get into the water. Yes. Oh, we're rolling. We're rolling in the water. That's weird. Okay, so it said that it automatically chooses between land and water. And as you guys can see, the thing on the back folds down. So if we go into the water here, yep, the back thing folds down. And then we're now in water mode. Oh, that is cool. Let's get to those wind turbines. All right, so we're almost here, which is actually incredible. This thing seems like it would sort of be a little bit off balance, but actually, in, in reality, it's working really nicely. Uh, we haven't had any issues with, with being off balance. However, I haven't tried it with waves, so what we'll do is we'll try and get on the beach here. If it can make it up onto the shore, we'll then drive it back into the water, and then we'll put the waves on, and we'll see how it deals with those, because... Realistically, this thing could actually be a very, very cool uh, creation to use in career mode or rogue mode uh, because it's fuel efficient. You guys can see that right there. It obviously isn't that fast, to be fair. It's not that fast, um, but it's stable and it works, which is, you know, good. It's very, very good. Anyway, we're here. There we go. We're on the beach. The thing folds up at the back and yeah, okay, right. Was I expecting it to work? Yes. Was I expecting it to work that easily? Not really, no. Um, but we're here. We're actually on the beach. We made it. That is insane. Right, well, we're going to have to go back into the water now and put the waves on. And there we go. There's the waves right there. We are ready to go. Oh, we're doing it the rough way. Oh, boy, I didn't realize this was a cliff. Oh, whatever. It doesn't matter. This thing's insane. <laughs> this thing is absolutely insane. And it is stable it's completely fine that is weird that's very very weird but it works and it works well that is awesome i wanted to see what it looked like on a night time and this is it so it's automatically got its front lights on its back lights on um but if you do this you get the front uh spotlights i don't think there's any on the back no um but all around you've actually got enough equipment to do many of the missions in this game which is insane. That's very cool. We've also got winches and stuff if we need them uh, with my goals on, on the front. You can see that right there. And um, we got a heater. So I'm going to go ahead and turn that on because it's getting a bit chilly. And flares. So if we pop the flare, can we see it do its thing? Is it actually going to light up? There it is right there. Look at that. That's awesome. Um, well, anyway, I think I'm actually going to end this video here. Thank you guys very much for watching. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um... Again, remember the link to my description, my description, my Discord, um, my Twitter, and the Stormworks Discord is actually in the description down below. If you guys want to vote on what's next, what's coming next in Stormworks, 
Um, did you see that? We missed them narrowly. Uh, if you want to vote on what comes next in Stormworks, um, join the Discord server and you can vote there. Uh, but anyway, thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.